Hey there, grade sevens. Uh, welcome to lesson 7.5. Um, in this lesson, we are talking about ways to express um, probability. Um, so uh, I'm actually pretty lucky because my wife and I had just bought a new game and it came with all of these um, different dice. So we actually have like a four-sided die, um, a regular six-sided die. This one is a 10-sided die. Uh, we have a 12-sided die, a 20-sided die, and then an 8-sided die. And that's going to work perfect for this lesson that we're talking about. Um, so before we get into actually rolling the dice and playing around with those, uh, what we're actually going to talk about is how do we express uh, a, the event of, of something, that uh, the probability of an event? So you actually have three ways. The first way that you can express it is as a ratio. Okay, a ratio is you're gonna say you have like a one in a in hundred chance, all right? This is very, very similar to the next way that you might be able to express it, which is a fraction. So you would say one over 100, okay? That's the possibility. So one out of 100, one to 100. Um, and then the last one would be as a percent. So you would have a 1% chance of, of, of a particular outcome happening. Um, so those are the three possibilities. So let's look at uh, the dice for a bit. Um, and then we're going to get into a little bit of vocabulary. So if I was to take my regular six-sided die and I was to roll it, okay, and in this case, it landed as a six, um, what was the possibility of that happening? Well, I had six options, okay? I had six possible outcomes, all right? When I have six possible outcomes, how many of the possible outcomes were six? Well, one, or one out of six. So what I'm actually doing is I'm saying the number of favorable outcomes, so I, was, I had one favorable outcome, I was hoping for a six, I wanted to get a six, and I did roll a six, um, over the total number of outcomes, which is six because there's six different numbers on this dice. Um, then the last one would be your, your percentage, which would be um, 17 point, uh, points, what is it, 17.8 something percent, okay? So th that would be my probability of, of rolling a six, or even if I want to roll a four, or a two, or a one, if I was looking for any particular number. Now, if I look at a different dice, so let's take our, um, our 10-sided die. So that's our blue one here. Um, so, so I roll it and I ended up with a two. All right. What if I was to say, I'm going to roll this again, but I want it to end up as an even number. Okay. As an even number. Well, if I've got 10 possible spots on the die, how many of them are even? Well, we have two, four, six, eight, and 10. So we have five. So I can actually reduce this divide both of them by five, and I get one over two. So this is divided by five, this over here is divided by five, and I get one half. So I have a 50% chance of rolling an even number. So let's see what happens if I roll it, and I got an eight, all right? So in that case, my, uh, my event happened that I was hoping for. Um, so there are some things that, uh, that are, are good to know, okay? So what if I was to take my eight-sided die? What is the probability of me rolling a number? I know, it sounds like a silly question. It's gonna be 100%. I have eight possible outcomes, and all eight of them are work, working in my favor. There's nothing other than numbers on this die. So this is what you would call a certain event. A certain event is you know it's going to happen, right? Um, you know, what are the odds that you're going to look at your phone today? Well, probably pretty high. Um, but what's the odds that I'm going to roll a number when I roll a six-sided die? Well, I rolled a three. So I rolled a number. Okay, it worked out perfectly. Okay, then you also have something a little bit different, okay? If I take this 20-sided die, Okay, it goes from one all the way to 20. What are the odds of me rolling a 21? Well, I have 20 possible outcomes. 
and one that isn't possible. So I roll it, I got one, okay? That's what I ended up getting, one. Um, so I didn't get my outcome, but it's also an impossible event. So when you have an impossible event, you have a 0% chance of it happening. If you have a certain event, you have a 100% chance of it happening. If I was to take my dice and I say, okay, what if I want to roll um, a number that's less, or five or less, okay? Number that's five or less. Well, that's going to change it. Now I'm going to have five possible outcomes. One, two, three, four, and five. So that means I have a 25% chance of getting it. So I roll my dice and I got a seven. Okay, so I did not get my, my outcome, but that didn't mean it was impossible. I still had a 25% chance of getting it, but a 75% chance of not getting it. Okay, so um, to kind of break it down, once again, the way that we're gonna calculate these, you can represent it in a percentage, you can represent it in uh, a fraction, you could represent it in a ratio, but what we're gonna say is our favorable outcome over top of all possible outcomes. So the one we want to happen over top of every, every single one that can happen. So if I'm talking about my 12-sided die, for example, I have 12 possible outcomes, right? One, two, three, four, five, all the way to 12. And then whichever ones I'm hoping for, okay? So if I want it to be like a five, six, or seven, Okay, so I have three possible outcomes out of the 12. So three out of 12, or in that case, 25% again. All right, um, just a reminder, if you have any questions, bring those questions to the Zoom. Um, make sure you do your Math Makes Sense and your, uh, your Google Form. Um, good luck.